Origin 2017 features a new improved column values notation. Now whenever you create a new project, you'll notice in the upper left hand corner a new A to Z icon. This indicates that the new spreadsheet cell notation is turned on. By default, this new setting locks column short names into an alphabetical list from A to Z and onwards with alternating letter combinations, making it significantly easier to set f of x values without the need to type in column parentheses. If we go into the properties for any column on our worksheet, we'll see that short names are no longer a modifiable input. Going back to our worksheet, let's demonstrate how this new simplified syntax can be used. As you can see, the column short name can be treated exactly as one would treat any other variable. Without having to enter any unique brackets or parentheses, we can control the same functions that we had before with far less keystrokes. Because of this, an advanced function like this conditional statement is much shorter and easier to enter than in previous versions. Now let's go to a second sheet and demonstrate this new syntax between sheets in the same workbook. For example, if we want to set column C to be the difference between sheet 1's column B and sheet 2's column B, we will no longer need to define this sheet as a range variable in the set values dialog, but rather just type sheet 1 or number 1 and an exclamation mark prior to entering individual column variables. If we want to reference a different book in one of these statements, we'll need to enter book 1 in square brackets before giving the sheet number and column letter. As with previous versions of Origin, this new notation can be modified from the set values dialog. And, if for whatever reason you would like to customize the short names yourself, you can of course turn off the new notation system. But you will need to update the syntax of your script upon changing these settings. This has been a brief introduction to the new column notation system in Origin 2017.